Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm King Posh and today I'm showing you my rear wheel drive drift tune for this Mitsubishi Evolution. Here's the share code. Got it? Great. I was asked by a user, didn't really have a name, but hey, huge, huge shout out for asking to make a rear wheel drive drift tune for this Mitsubishi Evolution. Just got done making the KP Easy All Wheel Drive Drift. I shared it, put it on YouTube, and as I was working on my other cars, I got a message popped up and said, Hey, can you make a rear wheel drive drift tune for that vehicle? Sure. I'll give it my best shot, especially since it doesn't have a drift suspension on there. Um, it's got rally suspension on stock tire compound, and it's got 1,356 horsepower all right as you can tell there's just the difference here is that the all-wheel drive of course is going to be quicker and it has a top speed this one actually does have a top speed it goes 194 miles per hour from what i i could tell and then it went right to failed as i was uh i switched back and forth to something but it's 194 is the actual top speed on this thing either way let's get into and show you guys what i did to it because I did do some minor changes to this. I mean, it is an A-Class 701. So you can actually use this in an online drift lobby. I don't know if you'd want to, but let's get into it. It's got the 7.2 liter V8 in there. Rear-wheel drive drivetrain. Twin turbo. Of course, it's got that anti-lag. Now on this one, I decided to uh, remove the uh, the lights in the front. Um, I could I could save some weight by um, going with this. What is look two pounds? Hey, two pounds is two pounds worth saving. Now here I had to put the uh, the ugly um, Forza Horizon spoiler on there. I had to. Um, if I didn't have it on there, as you can tell, it would go down to a B class. And no matter what I could do, and I'm going to show you guys, I, I did everything. No matter what I could do, I can never get it past B class into the A class range unless I use the spoiler. So I did. All right. Now you got this here. I decided to keep this here. Um, I looked at this thing. Yes, you can save weight keeping the A class. But if you know my all wheel drive video, I'm not doing that. It just looks ugly now with the uh, the bolts showing back there. So I left it. All right. I had to make the exception there that I was going to leave that on there. All right. Stock tire compound. As you can tell, if you use anything higher, it's going to go into, you know, S1 class. Um, the the uh, user did not say what class uh, they wanted, so I just figured they just wanted, you know, a basic rear-wheel drive A-Class. So that's what I decided to do. We got two 85s in the, in the front, all right? Of course, you know, if I tried to save some weight uh, by giving you a thinner tire in the front, B-Class. Okay, here this is maxed out here. As you can tell, if I try to bring it down, it would go down to B-Class and so on and so forth. So... Uh, that's what I did there. All right. It does have my favorite rims, the Wed Sport TC 105 ends on there. All right. Save weight. I still have, I have 16 inch rims in the front and 16 inch rims in the rear. I did look at these guys. All right. But they add weight to the car. I didn't want to add, uh, any weight, uh, more than I had to. All right, it'll, it'll stay in the A right there, but still, same thing. I just didn't want to mess with it. All right, we do have a 10-speed transmission. As you can tell, uh, well, that's stock transmission. You can't mess with it. Uh, I didn't really see a difference in, like, you know, A-Class and everything on that. I mean, but, hey, it's got all that power. Um, it's got all that power going on there. It's real drive. It technically is a small vehicle. Um, and yeah, it's got the race drive line on there and a drift differential. So at least it has something in there that has to do with drift. 
Either way, it's got the race brakes on there. Rally springs. No drift kit. So be very careful with this car if you try to drift it. Alright. It's got the anti-roll bars for the front and the rear. Alright. It still has the full-on roll cage, as you can tell. I looked at all this stuff. It stays in the B-Class range if I try to take it away. So, um, there's that. Um, race rate reduction. Same things here. All we would go into B-Class. Um, so I got the race rate reduction. We're saving 919 pounds from somewhere in this vehicle. Wow. Did they just take the whole body work and turn the carbon fiber and, and whatnot? Oh my goodness. That is a lot of weight out of this vehicle. All right. And of course, everything here is going to be race all the way through. It's got that anti-lag. Let's see if there's any flames on this one. No. There isn't. It's crazy. Um, I just did a video like on the uh, Sierra, the Toyota, and it was it was going crazy. Is what it is. It's got the race intercooler, and it's got a race flywheel on there. So everything's on there that I thought that needed to be on there. Keeps it right at the A class 701, right over, uh, right over to 701 or A class. I should have just said A class. Right over the A class. Car mastery for this thing has a whole bunch of stuff for it. Um, so there's that. I mean, look, you can get 50,000 credits with this thing. Either way, um, I show all that stuff in the all-wheel drive side of things. All right. So here's the tune. Hey, look, see? There's that top speed. I said it was 194. I wasn't lying. It, just, it, it fluctuates. It either says it's failed or it shows you the top speed. I'm telling you. Either way. Game's broken got 55 and 55 to maximize that slide here is the gearing now i'm going to expand this to show you guys i have this all really close together but hey this is rear wheel drive there is a lot of tire spin but as you guys can tell everything is really close together um all the way through okay there see it says failed right there that's that's fine see look it went right back to being failed i'm telling you guys game's broken moving on alignment I went with negative uh, 1.4, negative 1.4, 5.0. I usually go 4.2 on this, but I wanted that 0 to 60 to be under 6 seconds. I don't know why I have that mindset. Maybe because it's 12.30 in the morning. Doesn't matter. All right, so I did 3.8. It, it seems to drift just fine as that. So it is a little different. And I've been trying to make every one of these videos a little different when it comes to the alignment side. Uh, anti roll bars, I decided, I went all the way up and I was like, all right, 65 is the max. Let me just go right into the middle. 32.50 and 32.50 was the number I went with. All right. Springs, I first tried it on the soft side. I didn't like it. So I said, well, I don't want to max them out completely stiff. That would just mean I'm just taking shortcuts with this tune. So I went with 855.2 and 836.2. Now, I started where the dots were. So, you know, you, you might have a, na a uh, number change if you go all the way to the stiff and then go back. I don't know. I don't want to mess with it. And then as low as you can go is 13.3 for both the front and the rear. Dampening is 20, 20, 1 and 1. All right, this is what I use for my rear-wheel drive cars. Like I said, there was that I had to put that spoiler on there, so I took the dot and took it all the way down to speed. So that's the number. 217 is the lowest number you can go with. All right, nothing in the front. Braking, just left it at 50 and 100. And then differential, I've been using this thing, and I, I won't be stopping using this, uh, this differential numbers. These things work great, 21 and 100. All right, there's the tune. Okay, we have to press no because I was showing you guys the the, the uh, gearing. So everything's the same. Top speed still failed again, apparently. Either way, let's take her outside and let's be easy with her. She's got 1,356 horsepower on a rear-wheel drive setup on a car that looks like one of those Geo trackers. And somehow it saved nearly a thousand pounds. Takes off with ease. All right, you gotta feather your throttle with this one. 
Alright. Being that it doesn't have a drift kit, meaning that the wheels don't turn um, at a more angle. I'm just going to say more angle. But it, it, it drifts. You know, if you're confident enough to floor it, floor it. You know, don't have to go too wild with this thing. But it works. There's a 40.9 right there. And I was able to still control it without spinning out. That's why it's called Master Rear Wheel Drive Drift. It really is not that bad of a car. It really isn't. You just got to be careful with her. She, but do you get too sideways with her? You're not going to be able to uh, fix yourself. You let off the throttle. You turn the wheel the way you want to go. And you let it go. All right, I already got the police on me. You hear that? He blipped me. It is what it is. Oh, he wants to drift with me. See that? Look at that. Beautiful. And we were able to still save it. So yeah. Absolute beast. There's second gear right there. Starting right off. Plenty of power. I was like, dude, I'm making a drift video and you don't even know it. He probably doesn't even know who I am. Hey, if you didn't know, I'm King Posh. Yeah, I'm quite known. Well, that was a smooth video right there. Absolutely gorgeous. And we didn't spin out. So that's a plus two. Either way, yeah, absolutely uh, beautiful vehicle. Hey, big shout out to user again. Um, I was able to do it. I was able to make a uh, drift tune for it. Um, you know, guys requested it. It gets done. Not a big deal. Either way. Well, hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely hit that like button. And I'll catch you guys next time. Stay sideways, my friends.